Hey Simmers, welcome to Make Two. This is a live build of a two-story, three-bedroom house. As you can see here, I've got an empty, standard size lot ready to go. Before I build anything, however, I'm going to go ahead and choose the roof that I want and the exterior wall that I want. This is so I don't get stuck with the standard game versions and have to spend money changing them later. I'm going to begin with this entryway, which will be where the staircase goes. This is the kitchen, fairly large because I want to have a breakfast area on one end. This is the combination living and dining area. This is the downstairs bathroom and an office. So it's a fairly simple layout on the ground floor. I'm now building the upper floor, which as you can see costs 300,000 simoleons currently in the game. This is the upstairs hallway. You always have to build a room on the upper floor for the staircase to go to. There will be three bedrooms upstairs and each one will have its own private bathroom. All of the bedrooms will be the same size and all of the bathrooms will be the same size. So that is the layout of the upper floor and again the ground floor. We can now put in doors. So this will be the front door and I'm going to put a back door in on the dining area. And between the entryway and the kitchen and the living room I'm going to put single open doorways going to put a double size open doorway between the kitchen and the dining area and another one for the office. For the bathroom downstairs, I'm going to put a Japanese door because for this house I'm going for a rustic wooden kind of theme. So those Japanese doors are very woodsy. I'm going to put them as the doors for the bedrooms upstairs as well. And then just to save money, I am going to put single open doorways for the private bathrooms. So now I can put in windows. I'm going to go for this colonial style of window because I really like how, again, how woodsy they are, but also they've got this really pretty red trim at the top. Now putting in windows on the ground floor. And when I have multi-story buildings, I like to do this really nitpicky thing where I line up all of the windows and doors. It's just a, a sort of an aesthetic thing because when you look at a house from the exterior, you can see where the windows and doors are placed and I'll show you that view in a second. So looking at it from the roof view, here you can see what I mean. All of the windows and doors are lined up. They're stacked on top of each other in the same block. So again, it's just a nitpicky thing that I like to do. So now we can put in floors for the upstairs, bedrooms and hallway. I'm going to put in the same carpet just for a unifying look and tan tile for all of the bathrooms. for the downstairs bathroom as well. And for the downstairs floors, I'm going to put pine plank throughout, again for this unified look. And then in keeping with the rustic woodsy theme, I'm going to use these Scandinavian wooden walls throughout the downstairs.
For the bathrooms upstairs, I'm just going to go for this cream paint. And then for the bedrooms, I will I will go for this off-white wallpaper. I think it goes really well with the carpet. For the hallway, I'll go for a brown shade. And now we can place the staircase. This compact one fits in pretty well there. And for fixtures throughout the house. Technically, this is a countertop, but I'm going to put it here so that it can act like a closet for coats and things. And then in the kitchen, I'm going to go for Japanese countertops. By the way, I'm going to leave this house unfurnished in this video so that it looks sort of ready to move in if you bought this house or were renting it in real life. This is how it would look. No furniture. So I'm wrapping the counter around here because, as I said, I want room for a breakfast area, so that will go on the left. You could fit a table and chairs there. And Japanese oven. Then I'm going to splurge on a range hood. So now I can add fixtures in the bathroom. Because I've got this brown, woodsy kind of color scheme going on, I am going to choose, let's say, the brown vintage sink here. And same for the upstairs bathrooms. These two bathrooms are going to be mirror images of each other. For the showers, I'm going to go for these Japanese showers so that they match the bedroom doors and also they're just really pretty. And finally, this last bathroom. So that is the inside of the house done, and now I can start working on the yard. I'm going to put in a few garden patches, and then I really like these flower trellises. They're just nice and decorative for the outside. A bit expensive though. And I'm going to build a pool, because we've got room for that in the yard. Oh, but you see what I did there? I didn't choose the pool paving ahead of time, so I'm now <laughs> wasting money changing the pool paving. But you get the idea. So I'm going to put a picnic table and a couple more trees, because I think those look nice in the yard. You can imagine your sim family just hanging out by the pool. And there's room here for a grill. So I'm going to show you the fully furnished version of the house that I have in my town, Sims Landing. I'm going to show from a different angle as well, just so you can see that.
If you want to visit the fully furnished version of the house, then you need to become friends with me on Facebook to become my neighbor. Information for that is in the video description below. Just click on show more to see that. And I'll show you the fully furnished version of the upstairs as well. And from the side. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this Let's Build. If you want to see other Let's Builds that I've done, then check through the playlists on our YouTube channel. And if you want to see future Let's Builds or any other Sims Free Play videos, then please subscribe to our channel because more will be coming soon. Thanks for watching!